Hello YouTube and welcome to another virtualization tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to migrate VM from Proxbox to VMware ESXi. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know there are actually different uh, virtualization platform but the most common ones are uh, Proxbox and VMware ESXi. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer VM from Proxmox to VMware ESXi. So first thing first, let me log on to my Proxmox server. So here, as you can see, I have different machines that are running or virtual machines that are running. So let's just for testing use the Cisco controller. Okay, but you can use whatever VM you want, for example, Linux machine or a Windows machine. So here you can see the Cisco controller uh, VM, which has actually as hardware specifications uh, 5 gigabytes of memory, two cores processor. But the most interesting thing is actually the storage. So here, as you can see, it using uh, .qcow2 file format. Okay. So actually, in order to transfer this uh, VM or this virtual disk to uh, VMware, and as you may also know that VMware use VMDK format, okay? So actually, the whole process will be to transform this format QCOW2 to VMDK file, okay? So the machine is running, so I can access it on my web browser. So this is our wireless LAN controller, which is actually a virtual machine running on Proxbox. So in order to transfer this machine to actually VMware ESXi, first thing, let's shut down this machine. Okay, so I will stop it. Here we go. Yes. We can even uh, shut it down. Okay. So as you can see here at the bottom, the machine has been shut down. Okay. So as I told you, I have actually to uh, get this virtual disk from Proxmox and copy it to data store of VMware ESXi. Okay. So in order to get this uh, virtual disk, I have to use another program that I use most of the time in other videos. It's called WinSCOPY, okay? So it's free, you can download it from the internet. Here we go. I will launch it and you will use actually the credentials to log on to Proxmox. So here I already put the credentials for my Proxmox and I'm using SFTP as a protocol. Okay, so here this is username and password. Okay, so let me log on to this Proxmox server. Here we go. And you have to go to the mount actually directory. So I'll show you. You have to go to the mount directory. So this is it. Then inside it, PVE. Then your storage. So here I have storage folder and inside the storage folder i have also images okay and here you will find actually a folder for every machine numbered by 100 to 124 so if i return back to my uh, proxmox you can see that each virtual machine has number from 100 okay so actually here we want to copy the virtual machine of 107 okay so we have to enter actually this uh, folder here 107 here we go so this is the virtual disk for the LAN controller so here you can see that it has almost 8 gigabytes of size so we can copy it uh, to whatever you want. So I'll copy it to my desktop. And actually I will try to convert this format from QCOW2 to actually VMDK 
then run it on VMware, okay? So I will copy this uh, folder to another folder that I have created on my desktop. So this is my desktop. I will go to a folder. So here I create a folder called QEMU image and I will just drag and drop the virtual desk. Here we go. So now you can see that uh, the file has been actually transferred from Proxmox server to my desktop. Okay. And meanwhile, we have to download a program in order to convert this format QCO W2 to VMDK. Okay. So here on the left, you can see that I already downloaded this uh, program that will allow me this conversion called QEMU-image. So actually, I will show you. You just type it on the net. It's free. So it's uh, from cloud-based solution. So this is QEMU-image for Windows. So here, as you can read, it's a utility for Windows. It's used to co for converting, creating, and consistency check for various virtual desk format. Okay. And here you could find a couple of examples in order to convert from one format to another. Okay. And of course, of the bottom, you can find a link to download actually the binaries. Okay. So as I told you, me already downloaded the binaries and this is what you see here on this folder on my desktop. So it has an exec file that we'll be using soon. And we have a couple of dynamic link libraries also. Okay. So we'll be using this program in order to convert this virtual disk, which has an extension dot qcow2 to vmdk so we will wait for the file to be transferred then we will come back okay here we go the transfer has been completed so here on the left you can see that the file has been transferred and it has a file size of about 8 gigabytes okay so now we are done with this uh, utility. Win is copy, so I will just close it. And I will go to this directory here on my desktop, which has, remember, we have downloaded QEMU slash image that we'll be using in order to convert this file to VMDK format. Okay, so I will show you how we can do that. So we open your command prompt and you go to the directory where the file resides. Okay. And this is the format or actually the syntax for the conversion here. Okay. So I will convert the file format QCOW2 to VMDK. Okay. And provide here just the source file name, which has uh, this name here. And here, you can put whatever name you want, but you must end it with VMDK. So this is the format that will be actually transferring to our VMware ESXi server. So let me run this command and see what we get. So here you can see that the conversion has been actually performed. So wait for it to finish. Here we go to conversion now. It was quick. So let me take a look at the folder. Here we go. So now, as you can see, in addition to the original file, another file has been created with the extension VMTK. And here, pay attention to the file size. So the original one, original one has eight gigabytes of uh, size file size. And the one that has been converted has only 
32 gigabytes so it's fewer size okay so now we have everything we need in order to actually uh, run it on VMware ESXi so let me go to my uh, another server so this time not VMware not uh, Proxmox but VMware here we go let me log on so I will use my credentials here here we go we are into our server now so simply let's create another machine so I'll create VM I will go next so I'll call it uh, lane controller because actually it was Cisco lane controller but you can call it whatever you want just for testing controller okay so for the guest OS it was Linux and it was 64 bits so I'll choose other Linux 64 bits here we go so we choose the data store yes here I forget I have to put the the file that we just we created so this file here I have first to transfer it to my data store okay so before we do that here we go let me just cancel that so first thing first let me go to my data store data store browser and let me upload actually the file that have been created which has the format of vmdk here we go let's upload it So here you can see the upload is in progress. So as you can see the upload has been finished so this is our virtual desk I put it in directory called ISO so in order to work with this uh, virtual desk we have to execute another command okay so I will log on this time to our VMware ESXi so I will SSH into it here we go so this is our server so I have actually to go to a directory called VMFS so under it you will see that I have some volumes so actually I have to go to my data store so it's called the data store one then ISO okay so now I am on the directory where I have put my virtual desk okay so in order this virtual desk to work with ESXi I have to execute another command okay so I will show you this command so this command will be using a tool called vmkfs tools minus i so here I have to provide source vmdk so in my case it's vm-107 minus d fin then here I have to provide another name so let's call it for example Cisco lane okay so this is the command that you must execute in order your uh, virtual desk work with your server so let me run this command and wait for it to finish okay so remember the file the virtual the final virtual uh, disk will be cisco lane.vmdk okay
okay now so as you can see the process has been finished so now we have everything in order to create our virtual machine on our VMware ESXi host okay so remember that this that we'll be using is Cisco LAN.vmdk so I'll close this uh, window here and I will create a virtual machine here we go let's call it uh, Cisco LAN in order to be consistent so as I told you the guest OS is Linux and the version I will just choose other 64 bit next so here I will select the storage is the storage one okay and this is the most important uh, step I will be using two cores to CPU and for the gigabytes I will just use uh, four gigabytes of memory here we go and for the hard disk I will be using the one that we have just created okay so this is the most important step here I will delete this one and I will add hard disk I will choose existing hard disk okay and I will just get the one that we just created so remember it's Cisco lane.vmdk so I will, I will select it okay and there is a special actually hardware configuration for this uh, virtual machine it needs actually two network adapter this is just specific to this virtual machine but if you are using Linux or Windows you don't need to add it so I will just add new hardware okay so next so I guess now I have everything we need in order to boot this machine finish so here you can see the machine has been created let's uh, power it on here we go and see if we have successfully migrate the machine from Proxmox to actually VMware ESXi host so here you can see that the machine actually is put in without any problem okay okay now it has finished uh, booting so let me go to my browser and see if it has actually preserved settings or the IP address so and here we go you can see that I can access it once again but this time it's it's running on VMware ESXi host and not in Proxmox okay and we preserved the same IP address okay because the first one actually is shut down as you can see here so that was just a quick video to show you how to migrate a VM from Proxbox to VMware ESSI host as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye